previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ he was justified for killing him. The other kids didn't see it that way. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. Violet is a great friend. Those are rare. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone but we knew someone who did. the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. Then he'd bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch and say our goodbyes. I'll help you. Get stay. away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This. This is bullshit! Ten! Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but I just couldn't. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did.
should be strong enough to hold him. Brody. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> Ready? This afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> no offense, but I'd rather go back to my dream, so if you don't mind. Squirt. Easy on the broken parts. I don't like your voice. Well, I'm real sorry about that, but it's the only one I got. Cool it, AJ. We need him to talk. But it's justified. Maybe. But follow my lead. <laughs> you never done this before, have you? You and the devil child just making it up as you go along. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give him up. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I'd do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. I answered all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. 
was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> What you wanted? I did, but... <laughs> You're gonna get your wish. <laughs> when you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> my, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise, you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. <laughs> Not that. I want to let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. <sighs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find.
Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. I can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat jails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Wait, I see Violet. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Whoa! Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. Those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe.
All right? What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the Raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. How many of you are there? How many of who? <laughs> I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clem, stop! Oh. Hey, Minnie. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean... I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? For so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade A horse shit. Clem saved us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Minerva? Where's Sophie? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am.
Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. You know, they've been through different things than we have. There's probably a lot we can learn from them, too. Like drawing and playing the piano? Exactly. We can show them how to survive, and they can teach us to be normal. It's weird that people are so different. It is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Troubled like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. 
am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. I don't see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. will draw them away.
AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. You kill the ones you have to. I can't blame you for that. Not really. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I... I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James! We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. It's safe. Just a little further. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere, yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will.
The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. See if there's somewhere to hide. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Oh, hey there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? Yeah, I do. They're still just monsters. Dangerous things that want to kill us. That's what I thought you would say. It's what I would have said too, once. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive. Not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And even if your friends think like you, no one deserves that. 
It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark.